Hi everyone, welcome to the video. As you can see, we are diving back into our Minecraft world. This is part two, so if you would like to go watch part one, I will probably leave it linked in the description of this video. And maybe I should go back and watch part one because I don't remember anything that we did, so I'm gonna be figuring some stuff out as we go along, but it's gonna be fun. Um, so thanks for clicking on the video, and I hope you enjoy this really cool, casual, lo-fi uh, video for this week, and I hope we are all doing well and staying safe. So, let's get into the video. And this will be pretty much soft-spoken the whole time, so hopefully we like that. And of course, if we want a whisper video in the future, just let me know. And I will happily... So, here we are in our little world. I did change the shaders pack, as well as the resource texture. What's the difference? I don't know. As well as the texture pack of the world, um, because I was having some issues with the lighting, I just... I couldn't see. I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I, I couldn't see. I don't know what was going on with the shaders, but in the dark, the lanterns weren't really doing a whole lot, so I changed the shaders a little bit so I could actually see things and play the game more efficiently. Um, and I also thought a texture pack would look sort of nice, but I've never actually used this texture pack before. So I am a little concerned that I might not know what things look like. Oh, it moves. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. <laughs> I'm impressed by very small details. Um, and actually, Speaking, I say actually too much. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to work on my dictation and speech and all that. I'm so sorry. Um, the last Minecraft video, um, a little behind the scenes fact that you can sort of tell is uh, going on if you listen very closely or and watch very closely, but I don't think anybody noticed it thankfully, um, is I actually, sorry, I recorded the, I don't know where my house is, so I'm going, I'm kind of guessing, um, I recorded the camera bit, oh, that's a crafting table, okay, the, uh, this looks like my stuff, the camera bit, not with my webcam, which is what I'm doing right now, but with my phone, um, which I thought wasn't going to be a problem, um, until it was, and for some reason the, um, uh, visuals with my phone did not want to sync to the audio that was uh, recorded with the Yeti. So it was really weird. It starts off synced, but as the video slowly progresses, it gets more and more out of sync. It was really, really weird. Um, so I'm recording with my webcam. Hello. Uh, this time, 
to hopefully avoid that issue. I see we have what I think is some wheat here. Yes, okay. It's a little hard to tell with the texture back. I don't really know what anything looks like, and I am a very visual person, so it's kind of throwing me off a little bit, but I'm trying to figure it out. All right, are those full grown? This is full grown. Can tell. Should be just try with this oh potato okay um so we'll just replant that um this looks full grown i think yep that was that was two uh this looks full grown those look full grown oh carrots So I believe I was in what looks like the middle of making a, a little farm. So I'm just going to continue my work here to get started. I need to, oh, you know what I need to do? I need to turn it off peaceful because I had it on peaceful to take uh, thumbnails so nothing else impactful would happen um, so we can have a, a little bit of danger so, you know, we, life needs just that little bit of danger is this cooked? okay looks like an ear alright wheat, carrot, raw chicken, potato did I have a house? Surely I had a house. I don't even know what that is. Surely I did. One of these, probably. Um, okay, I'll go ahead and put that on so it can be cooking. Oh, what those fire noises? Is that a texture pack thing? I swear those aren't regular Minecraft noises. Um, so, we should finish our good work and continue building a farm. Oh, and I was about to breed animals, probably. That's what this looks like. Um, I think I was running around in a forest when I faded out because my phone also died in part one and that's why it sort of just fades out because my phone decided to die and it was recording uh, my face so couldn't continue all right and I have some Everlasting water right there. Maybe that's my house. That would make sense. Oh, I was just in here. Yeah, this this is probably my house. Oh, this is definitely my house. Okay. This is definitely my house. Um, do I not? Alright, I just have that single chest. Um I'm also recording the my voice and the game audio separately so I can make sure that nothing is too loud for everyone. Um, I can make sure and match sort of the ratio I had in the last video because I think oh, we all like that. So just in case. Um, yeah, uh, and if you want to know um, the resource pack I'm using is the clarity and then the shaders pack is BSL. So if you want to recreate this, that's what you would use. I feel like this looks pretty great. Um, 
and the seed. Somebody asked in the last, oh, sorry, microphone, in the last video, that's the seed for you guys. And I'm probably pretty close to the spawn, I want to say. So, if you guys want to play along, you can. Yeah, so, what I'm thinking is clearly we still, we need to sort of keep up this resource of food um, so I can continue to eat, of course, very important. Um, but this looks a little boring. Um, so if I were to put sort of an interior like design thinking architect brain or goggles on, I'm envisioning something that's sort of drawing from this natural uh, dark oak sort of landscape. This is so bright. This is actively hurting my eyes. Uh, one second here. Goodness. Where's the brightness? Down just a little bit. Okay, that didn't help. All right. Um, looks looks like we're suffering. Oh, I also I found an ice spike last time, as well. Right. And I was maybe going to move over there. I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, that seems a little bit. Boring. This is water, I promise. Um, so I do see some animals hopping over there. Uh, so maybe we should abandon the ice spike route and go for a more medieval, um, mahogany sort of village. I'm thinking lots of fireplaces, lots of uh, windows, windows, fire, dark wood. Um, it's don't get your hopes up because I can't build all that well, so it's probably not going to look um, amazing, but it's going to have some really good intentions behind. Yeah, that's what we're going for. So, and it's great that we have this pretty much flat area. I think we can definitely work with this and not have to terraform a whole, whole lot. Hello, polar bear. Oh, oh, he groaned. Oh, okay. Um, I remember I had this crevasse, crevice, sort of mining operation going down there. Um, so, it's also great. This seems to be like so, sort of the flattest area, I think. So if we were to make just a really pretty house and then we could have um, a nice path going from the house to the village maybe. We'll have some views of the mountains. Mountains over here. Village right there. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm liking it. Um, so the sun is setting, so we'll probably have to go and sleep soon, but I'm really liking this area, and I think we'll come back to this. So the sun sets over here, so we probably want to make um, all the really pretty windows face this way, because that is just, that is just gorgeous. I have this sort of 
don't know if it's a crazy idea or a really good idea or something that's uh, just sort of worth a shot and we'll see how it goes um, for another video I was thinking that it might be sort of cool to do a nature hike but and of course record the hike but have two um, wireless microphones and attach them to do I have enough food to sort of get me through the day here? Um, I don't know. I'll just uh, do that. Okay. Oh, you can't cook carrots. Duh. And I have steak. Okay, that's fine. Um, and attaching them to my feet. Hold on. Where did I say I was going to build this thing? I think it was already. And attaching them to my feet so it picks up all of the walking footstep noises um, and it'll it would be um, binaural since I'd have a microphone for uh, each foot so you know left foot left ear right foot right ear um, combined with the actual works in this context combined with the footage of the hike so it's like you are really there and you're really getting those I hit the microphone again I'm so sorry and you're really getting those good walking crunchy footstep noises and it's I feel like it's a lot more immersive and I've looked I've looked on YouTube and I can't find a hike that has the footstep noises and I feel like we are the ASMR gang we love the footstep noises we should be all about that but I you know can't find anything so I thought it might be sort of something to look into um, if you're still watching and you think that sounds great uh, feel free to let me know <laughs> Um, and I'll look further into it. I don't have, um, any, any, any wireless microphones at the moment, so it, I would have to invest a little bit, but, um, that's okay, and I feel like eventually I would use the microphones for, for something. So, I need to make a shovel Just gonna make the I'm sure the, the tenth I hear that rabbit running around the uh, tenth crafting table that I have um, I might have to turn this texture back off because it's almost impeding my thought process because I can't see I've I've been playing Minecraft for a long time but I've never used a texture pack before so I'm very very much used to the vanilla stuff and it's throwing me off just a little bit um, I'm gonna turn that down on my end which means I'll probably turn the audio down on your end as well. Can I change the blocks breaking? Maybe I can like do the blocks that much. Okay. Let's see how that is. Okay, that almost didn't help at all, so we're gonna turn it down just a little bit. Okay. Be like right there. Okay, that helped. So, 
think we're just going to take off this top layer of dirt. I think that would be good. And I guess in my head, I'm thinking that we take off this top layer. It's bothering me. Let me put that down here. And then we sort of build um, maybe like almost an arch. An arch going like that or some sort of shape. We'll just have a, um, a wall start right here and a wall start right here and then sort of arch them together and then this will all be glass and then we'll expand the wall this way and it'll and it's like if imagine a can let me flip it on its side nobody's gonna know what I'm talking about so I'm imagining we do something like this, except this isn't just a square. This is something nice and aesthetic, and then we'll expand it this way, and then do like this, and then this will, you know, all be filled in. Um, and then this will be glass, and then the interior will just be the interior. Um, and then on the sides, maybe we can do some fire pits. Some nice fire pits, that'd be good. That's what I'm feeling. I don't think it's going to look. I'm not a very good builder, so it's not going to look super aesthetic like um, we're all sort of used to decades after watching Minecraft on YouTube all the time, but it, it'll have a lot of heart. A lot of heart. A lot of heart. Oh, my shovel. Also, always paranoid about using iron for things. I don't think I have a lot of iron. So. And. Okay, I. Absolutely hate this noise. Um, another thing that I'm envisioning is a path. The path can come down here. Maybe we can make some sort of uh, frozen lake or something, and then the path will wind around the lake, maybe over the lake, um, and then off to the village. I can pull it off. We'll see. Um, I think I don't need a whole lot of space. I think I'm just going to make a little outline here. All right. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. So I think I'm just going to, I'll probably take out this top layer of snow right here. Um, And then everything sort of to the left of this line that I've made. And then we'll work on building the actual structure. So don't really want to bore anyone here, but this is a Minecraft 
mod play, so she came here looking for something particularly exciting. You're probably in the wrong place. I'm about to sneeze. another shovel. Maybe I should just go ahead and make uh, two shovels. Yeah, okay. Oh, the sun's going down again. That's a beautiful sunset in this texture pack. They did a great job. I really, I really wish I knew more about how um, texture packs and shaders and Minecraft mods work because I really don't know a whole lot about the intricacies of coding, but I think it would not only be incredibly useful, but also pretty fascinating. I think it also involves a lot of math, and I am not very cash money at math. Not at all. Not at all. Very bad at math. Alright, we're gonna run back to our bed and go to sleep again. Oh, there's some lava over there. It's pretty good. Any of the mobs get us? We okay. All right. Man, I really kicked the villager out for good. He never came back. All right. Let's run back. I know, same, same. Alright. Oh, we can go ahead and pick up things that these mobs leave behind. Oh, just kidding, we can't. My inventory is full. Okay. Just get back where I was. Sorry. I don't need, don't even have space. I'll get rid of this. Okay. Oop. Is that a stick? We want, we want those. Okay. There you go. Alright. We are. Okay, so we have that layer taken care of. Let's go ahead and get this top. This is going to look really nice. Let's get some of these logs out and sort of set up an outline. Again, um, this isn't going to look good. So uh, we all just need to make sure our expectations are, you know, nice and low for what I can pull off here. Um, so yeah. <laughs> nice and low. Uh, okay. So... Go ahead and make it about right here. I think that'll look nice. Um, and then let's see. Let's go ahead and about right here. And then okay, perfect. So I suppose we need to figure out a shape 
that we are going to do here. I think we could go with the traditional uh, rectangle, but I don't think that'll look very good. Um, we could go with a triangle, we could go with a circle. I almost, well, we need to at least have three blocks of height. So let's go ahead and add that on all of our sides. Okay. So what are we thinking? Are we thinking um, four blocks of height? I'm kind of thinking four blocks of height. We want very tall and elegant ceilings. I think that would look very nice. This would have been a lot easier if I had decided on this when I was still standing on top of the blocks, but it's too late for that, as we can see. Okay. And it's about time that we need to go get some more wooden uh, spruce logs. So, before we leave this little area... Oh, I can't. I was going to make another axe, but it looks like the time for that has passed. Let's just go on to one of these trees and hammer these down. We can start with the ones just in the landscape. Have to build up. There we go. And good. We love lava pits. Lava pits make everything easier. Okay. Let's go and grab these. Money, and then find this tree. Okay. So we only we got thirty. That's okay. Go ahead and finish a little outline here at least. So we have at least uh, a minimum of four blocks of height. Um, let me make sure that I forgot to check this, that we can have double doors, because that's very important. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, you should be good. Um, so, double doors, minimum four blocks of height. So, I guess the question is, when we start to come in, do we want there to be two blocks of come Do we want there to be one block, three blocks? Um, I'm not entirely sure. You know, I'm, I'm feeling pulled towards three blocks. Maybe we should start with that. We'll start on this side. Let's figure out where the middle is. It should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
There we go. So that is the middle. Um, so it would be, it'd be cool if our final, the top of the roof had four, so we could make a nice overhang to our double doors. So if we ended with four, one, two, three, four, five, six, we'd have six to work with, so we could do three. I'm sorry if this makes sense to nobody but me. Um, I promise I can see it in my head and it makes sense. If we do three, three, and then four. Um, or we could do... Actually, is that... We could... Six. We could do two, two, and two. That might be kind of nice, and then we're sticking with sort of all evens. Actually, let's let's do that. I'm feeling drawn, drawn towards that. Um, well, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna come in. Like that, and then we are going to dig under one block. So when we enter the space, we are going down a little. Um, I I think that would be a very cute moment. Um, let's do it. So, and then we're going to do another two. Two, 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 right? Okay. And then above that should be four. Let's see if I did this right. And it looks like I did. Look at that. I was actually right. Okay. Oh. I have fallen. Um, so it'll look like that. So we'll finish this overhang. This whole front will be glass. We'll do the same thing on the back. Um, and I'm thinking fire on the sides. So I really just need to bring the bed over. I don't have to run back and forth. Ready. This is this is very aesthetic. This very light blue sky, all the snow. I think it'd be very fun to visit Alaska. Apparently, I think there is an Airbnb or some weird hotel where you can stay. Hit the microphone again, I'm so sorry. Where you can stay out in the middle of nowhere. And it really just looks like the middle of nowhere. I think I'd be so afraid of polar bears that I wouldn't be able to uh, sleep at all. Oh, I need to eat. Um, so that would really be a no for me, I think, but it looks, if I was a little bit braver, I think it'd be fine. Um, I'm too afraid of polar bears. They're, they're very cool. Bears are very, very cool and, um, uh, nice looking, but they're not very nice in, uh, real life. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry, I had to take a quick break there, but we are working on our house. So, we have our 433. Three. Um, I remember I was very surprised that it actually worked out. Pretty cash money. 
Um, so we need to do the other side. So it starts on that forest. Okay, so I'd already started, so I just need to build up. Okay. Preferably with dirt, but that's, that's fine. It's fine. M. Okay. Oh, I remember what I was talking about. Uh, has anyone else seen the YouTube videos or one of the YouTube videos where they are talking about that guy who really liked grizzly bears and then he got eaten by one. Has anybody else watched that or maybe just, oh, did I do it wrong? <gasps> no. Oh, wait. No, I'm good. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. But, um, like, the grizzly whisperer, the grizzly man, he has some type of name that I don't think he deserved all that much in the uh, first place, but okay. Got it, right? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. Let's get rid of these dirt structures. Almost done with this side, but so if you haven't ever watched one of those videos, um, it's about this guy who would frequently go to Alaska and study the bears. Really, it sounded like he was just sort of fulfilling his fantasy, maybe, of becoming friends with the bears. I don't think, but I don't know if what he was doing really qualified as research. Um, but he would go to Alaska and, I think, Alaska and just watch bears and try and learn about them and sort of try and become their friend. And he decided to go um, one year during the fall when the bears were more aggressive because they were getting their bodies ready, <laughs> getting their bodies ready, but they were getting their bodies ready, they they're, were getting ready to go into hibernation, so they were a lot more territorial and a lot more, um, that they were looking for as much food as possible before they we're going to sleep. Um, oh, I should have, I should have started it. One block in, I think. That looks weird, right? I think I should move it in one. What do you guys think? I think I should move it in one. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that or I can just leave it like that, actually. Let me look back here. But so he went during the fall, which is when the bears get a lot more aggressive. Um, and he set up his camp right in the middle of a sort of a, a bear 
walking path. Um, and basically did a bunch of things that, you know, if you were really thinking about it, you'd be like, hmm, probably shouldn't do this, but he did all of them. And, uh, he and his girlfriend got, um, munchy munchied on by a bear. So, did not end well. And I think he, uh, recorded it as well. I guess on accident, maybe, I'm sure he was intentionally recording, but did not intend to uh, get his death on there, but, um, so anyways, bears are not your friends, yeah, that looks better, just pull it in one, we don't have as much width, but I think it'll still be okay. I think that looks better. That's alright if it's a little smaller. We'll just do the same thing over here. just have to do the same thing over there. So two, 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 and then four. Has anyone ever been hiking in bear country? So now you're supposed to bring a, uh, a bear whistle, right? So they know that you're coming, or did I just make that swear I've heard that somewhere. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, that's so aesthetic. Alright, uh, do the monsters come out when it's snowing? Yes, there's an Enderman. So I need to run back to the village, I think. Look at him. We buy Enderman. Running back to the village. It's snowing outside. Man, it's been. I don't. I've never actually seen. Actually, again. Oh my goodness. I've never seen snow like this in real life. Really heavy, deep packed snow. So, it's kind of on a bucket list to go somewhere truly in the north. Oh, that's so pretty. No, snow, come back. Come back, snow. That was so pretty for a second. It's already gone. Okay. The, was it a husk? Um, put on me. I think it was a movement. Slowing of movement effect. Alright, so... It looks like I'm going... Or it not looks like. I definitely... I'm going, that guy was really fast. So up with that. Um, I'm going to need some more blocks soon. Okay. 
Oh, I have to get that. Okay. Can't just leave it. <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay. Let's finish this up here. So two. And I don't think I can reach that up there. Let me just get this. I'm trying to think of... Uh, uh, I think we like it when I talk about random things while I record the long play video, so I'm trying to think of other topics. I know I, I just posted the, um, the ghost, <laughs> the ghost poll today, asking um, who believes in ghosts, and that's been interesting so far. I wish there were more personal stories. Okay, I am back once again. I do not know why, but Audacity decided that it was going to suddenly stop <laughs> recording on me there. So I'm back once again. I think you guys only missed about a minute um, or two. So it's okay. You're still all caught up. Everything's, everything's good. Anyways, it's so funny because when I sat down to record this, you know, I was like, um, I'm just, I'm gonna do it, you know, all at once, I'll, it'll be really easy, I'll just have to match the audio afterwards, and then I can send it on its way, but, you know, fate has decided that that is not going to be the case, and I am once again, going to have technical difficulties while filming the Minecraft video. So, it's okay. It's, <laughs> it's nothing I can't handle, but it sure is annoying. So anyway, I was just clearing out the dirt, talking about the ghost pole, maybe the ghosts stopped the recording. I, I had just said, you know, I haven't had a ghost experience of my own, but, you know, maybe that was it right there. A ghost stopped the audacity recording, said, girl, you don't need to be recording right now. Um, go to sleep. It's one o'clock. And, you know, Ghost, I'm gonna have to tell you here, I, I need to record the video. People, people want the Minecraft video, and I want the people to be happy and to have good dreams. So I need to make the video. It's, it's what is required. So, the Ghost is just gonna have to sit there and watch me build this house. It is what it is. If, if they want any input on the house, they can knock something over in the background. Apparently not. Okay. They're lost. Anyways, and I'd also mentioned how I have been seeing this um, Catholic priest pop up. Now I'm getting a little paranoid. 
pop up on podcasts talking about exorcisms. Um, maybe I should stop talking about that and not jinx it. Okay, let's do that. Uh, anyways. Uh, has anybody seen that video that somebody took from a train of a supposed Bigfoot? Yes, I know it's fake. I know it's fake. If you didn't know, it's fake. Uh, apparently they're on some type of uh, Sasquatch train expedition where the owner dresses up as a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot outside and people get very excited. So. Would I go on this train? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. I, I would go on the Bigfoot train. 100%. I would go. Oh. Oops. Oops. Hey, back is starting to hurt because I'm leaning forward into the microphone so I can get some crispy, crispy ASMR audio. But it hurts my back a little bit. We have our floor hollowed out here, and what should the floor be? Probably just spruce planks, right? That sort of makes the most sense. Um, We definitely don't have enough to fill out the whole floor. So, and I think we should work on the outside. And eventually I'll need to go and harvest things again to get more food. But I'm also thinking like a multi-story silo looking thing, sort of like this, but um, flipped 90 degrees where each floor is another little farming um, level. I think in the walls again would be all glass. I think that would be cool. Um, but we can go ahead. Actually, this glass did it again. I'm so sorry. We need to go get coal to burn the glass. I, I really am trying to work on not saying filler words, both when I record, when I stream, when I do all of the speaking things. I watched a video that said well, if you say um and fill the words like that you it means you are uncomfortable with your silence so I'm trying to be more comfortable and confident with my silence so many things come back to confidence and being confident about yourself and your appearance and your presence. So many things. Um, 
really, oh, it's all, all my fellow shy slash introverts out there. We are, we're living on hard mode, so I think a lot of things um, are easier if you, you are naturally extroverted. I always say when I have a kid, I, I hope, I hope that they are good at math and that they are extroverted because I, I think both of those things gives you such an advantage. I am neither, if you're curious. I, when I was younger, I was okay at math and then I don't know what happened. I, I, I think I... I don't know, maybe I met somebody who was, like, actually good at math. Actually, again. Oh my gosh. So, the sixth time. Um, but I, I don't know what happened. I just went downhill so fast one day. <laughs> I am not, not good at math. Once, once the, the letters started popping up, I started not being good at math. And it's funny because things that I remember used to, that was not ready, was it? Um, things that used to be so hard. Like I, was that not ready either? Oh my gosh, okay, I'm just not going to touch that. I remember being in sixth grade, I think, and learning how to divide fractions. And I remember, yeah, and I remember that I just couldn't get it. But now when I look back at it, it's like, there was like one step. How did I not get it? You just flipped the fraction. How did I, how was that not 100%? But, um, I think that was when I really started to feel like I was not very good at math. I think at a certain point, the people who are naturally, their brain just functions in the way that lets them be better at math. I, I think once those people start to leave, they get all the really good teachers and the people who aren't as good at math don't get the better teachers. So we just continually like get worse and worse. We need more good math teachers. Uh, I find that people who are naturally good at math are sometimes not very good at teaching it to people who aren't very good because they don't understand the gaps that need to be bridged in the understanding because they've just always naturally gotten it. So I think that's why it's hard for people who aren't naturally good at math to be good is because there's not a whole lot of people that are good at teaching it to people who don't naturally get it. <laughs> Anyways, God bless you if you can do math. We, we need you guys for sure. What were we doing? Were we cooking sand? I think we were cooking sand. Cooking sand. Cooking sand. Okay. Put it all in there. We also just need to mass harvest some spruce. So we need to get some more sticks. Yeah. So I can make some more tree cutting utensils. Alright. I hope that you can hear that. But I think you could. 
I don't think I'm gonna remember to edit it out. I'm sorry. <laughs> So things don't spawn. Okay, good enough. All right, because we did need some more of this, or we will eventually. We need more. Need some cooking. That too. I'm really. I'm trying not to get jump scared. Monsters, because this is supposed to be, you know, ASMR, very relaxing. Oh. So, I'm gonna try to keep it together for everyone here. I just feel like it's so pointless. Oh, I hear people. Be there below. I think this is iron. It's hard to tell in this. Yeah, okay. Hard to tell in this texture pack. It's the first time I've seen it. I wonder if there's a spawner down there. I'm gonna go back up because I don't have any torches. So this is probably a bad idea. Okay. Just like block that off. Okay. Alright. Alright, that's mm. Oh, here's an iron pickaxe. Okay. We don't need to use that. I'm just gonna Go back up. <laughs> I thought those were diamonds for a second. I got so excited. I'm like 20 blocks below the ground. <laughs> shaders a lot better than the other one. It's a little bit bright with all the snow out here, but it's, it's definitely, it's a lot easier to see, which is important in video games. Um, so that sand 
it's, looks like crack. Sand. Sand. All right. We have the glass. So I think we can go ahead and turn this into panes for the, there you go, for the front of the house. So if you guys have just been rolling with it and haven't actually, sorry, been able to um, conceptualize my vision, this is what we're going to do. We are going to put glass all through the front. So when you're inside, you can still see all this beautiful natural area. Um, but we are, I'm, I'm leaving a frame for the door because I don't think the glass look, looks uh, very just dropped the glass on the ground and I can't see it because it's transparent. Uh, oh, they're right there. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's not going to look good with the. So we'll have a little frame. Probably of just the log. Um, yep. If you have any ideas for the house, leave them in the comments because I am not a very good builder and I admit it and I'm not ashamed and you guys probably have better ideas than I do. So feel free to, you know, leave them down below and I'll look and uh, make adjustments. Okay, so really, I just, I need to go get logs. That's what I really need to do. So let's go do that. Let's, let's take out this guy right here. Okay. Looks like there are many, many trees. setting again. Okay. Scratch that. I need to go get the bed and bring it with me. So I'm not having to worry about monsters while I'm in this forest. So, if I die, I'm a little screwed, but it's fine, it's fine. You know, this, this is an ASMR world. We're calm. We're, oh my gosh. It looks like, um, I'm gonna get flamed for not knowing what the name is. The, uh, the, um, the, the Spongebob Krabby Patty Crab Shack. Is it just called the Krabby Patty? The place where he works. Oh goodness. Don't go easy on me. Go easy on me. <laughs> the Crab Shack. <laughs> Sorry. We've made it to the forest. We are just going to get uh, these trees until that happens. 
with these other two axes. We can get some food over here too. Beautiful pixelated sky. Would you um would you guys also like like a uh, following a Bob Ross tutorial? It's like ASMR on top of ASMR, ASMR squared. I don't know, I feel like that's very overdone. to where I want to sporadically chop down the trees so the forest is still pretty. Really, this is actually how you manage a real forest. A little. Make a pretty thumbnail. Okay, I'm gonna pause it right there. Okay. Y'all remember to come back and grab that later. <laughs> that's, that's pretty, right? Just the sun coming in. All these trees. There's a sheep right there. Looks great. Oh, I am craving mac and cheese. Uh, what what brand of mac and cheese do we believe is is the best? I I, th I think I'm gonna have to go with Kraft mac and cheese at the moment. If you have any anything you think is better, feel free to let me know. But I th I think it's Kraft. Before Kraft, you know, um, Horizon, the organic brand, used to make. A mac and cheese. That was very, very good. But they actually... But they discontinued the mac and cheese. So that was the best. Um, but now I think it's craft. I just... I've tried Annie's. Annie's just isn't good. It's... I almost want to say it tastes more salty than the Kraft mac and cheese, but you'd think that wouldn't really make sense because Annie's is the healthy, um, organic brand, so you think it, maybe it just tastes more authentically cheddar-y and sharp, and that's why I think it tastes more salty, but Annie's is not good. I had one of the, the microwavable cups, um, Annie's mac and cheese, just the plain cheddar. It was, it was so gross. It was so gross. It was so gross. Like you think mac and cheese couldn't be gross and it didn't cook. All the way through in the microwave, there was like a clump of uncooked pasta noodles that was just hard and, oh, it was so gross. It was not. It was just not good. Um, but the the craft cups are good. And you know, craft also, I don't know if they were the first ones that did this, but they came out with the portion size that's not as big as the box that feeds like four people, but not as small as the cups. They came out with one in the middle which is, sorry microphone, which is perfect, perfect size, tastes good, it's great, because the box, the, I've, I've had some days before 
where I've thrown down a whole box of Kraft mac and cheese. And let me tell you, if if you need to gain weight, eat two to three of those boxes a week and it'll happen. <laughs> drink, uh, drink chocolate milk and eat three boxes of Kraft mac and cheese a week and you'll put on a few pounds. And... not have a good time. <laughs> Gaslight yourself into thinking you're going crazy. Then if you get on the stationary bike, you'll convert those pounds into muscle. I am a, I am a big proponent of the stationary bike because it's low impact, it's easy, I, uh, sadly, I'm actually, it's like the tenth time, I am embarrassed to admit that I am not a very good biker. I cannot bike very well. I don't have very good balance. But with a stationary bike, it doesn't matter because it's stationary. And you can get a little hole up. If the stationary bike you have doesn't have one of these, you can get a stand for your iPad or your phone and watch things on the stationary bike. So, what I always tell people, you know, this the stationary bike expert that I am, I tell people that, you know, we all watch random crap every day, why not watch it while you're on the stationary bike and you're getting two things done at once? Um, and the only, there is a period of time where the seat hurts. Um, I don't know if, if you're a male and build different. I don't know if you have that period, but, um, if you're female, you, you do go through a little period where it hurts to sit, but after that period is gone, it feels fine. And then, once you've been biking for a while, it's actually... Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I promise I'm trying to work on it. It's... You get to a point where really it's more comfortable to stand on the stationary bike. And once you start standing, I think you not only start really working your thighs, but you start working your core a little bit more as well. And you start building more muscles. And what I, I want to try to do, which I, I haven't been able to bike for a few weeks because of reasons, um, but I want to try, I think this is a bad idea, so probably don't do this. Uh, let me sleep, let me sleep, let me sleep, let me sleep. I want to try holding a small, like, dumbbell weight in one hand and, like, holding on with the other and, like, just lift the dumbbell for half the time that I bike and then switch to the other hand and lift. So I'm also working my arms as well as my legs and core and everything else all at the same time and then everything will be getting a workout so whenever I get back into biking I think I'm gonna try that um, I'm pretty sure that's probably bad for you and you shouldn't do that so I'm not at all saying uh, listen to me do it I have all the answers um, I'm saying don't listen to me. I have none of the answers. <laughs> if, if you ever hear somebody tell you that they have all the answers, that is a red flag and that person is lying. Because nobody has all of the answers. Nobody. 
be a lot easier if somebody had all the answers. of the animals so that if I need to bring some back to my base and breed them for food and other useful materials, they'll be here. And I think I've got a lot of logs. Okay. Man, there are pumpkins everywhere. I, I thought pumpkins used to be a lot rarer than I guess apparently they are. Oh, you know what would have been cool? If I were to do like a, a, a cross almost on the bottom and then have another level in the middle coming up from the uh, center. Maybe I can do that actually. I don't know. I think I could actually pull that off. I might have to extend this. Uh, we'll, we'll focus on this front part first. Before I get to I need I needed it once. Um. All right, let's go ahead and build these. So we want up and then across. And then down. So, just like that. Really, I think that looks pretty great with the texture, with the texture pack. can only get them in 16. Okay. Where's my little chest? Okay, there it is. Let's drop all that off. Okay. Right. And write a class again. Okay, so this should see us through the rest. So there's the front, very nice, and then we have our metal, it's going to be all spruce plank, um, I think I'm going to replace, go ahead and replace that, I'll just do a cobblestone, yeah. Nice, like it. All right. Um, yeah, okay. I was thinking cobblestone floor for a second. Looks kind of nice, but um, I think the spruce plank is, is just what it needs to be. 
it's down here. Um, can we make it? I guess it doesn't matter. Which, uh, which way it goes. Alright, we'll just start right there. Yay! Building is a lot more fun than destroying. It's a pretty good life lesson. Building efficiently is even better. <laughs> You know, I might regret that later, but we did it. It's done. Am I making everyone mad by the way I'm filling this in? Oh. I think so. I think I'm making everyone mad. So that needed, that was about two and a half stacks for the full floor. And I think I have, yep, perfect. I think that's fate telling me to half slap it right there. See, that looks gorgeous, looks gorgeous. Okay. All right, so crap, I'm gonna have to replace all this. Uh, probably with cobblestone. I think that makes more sense. Yeah. That looks good. That looks good. Oh, we got a glitcher. Then okay. I don't think these matter, because those will be a lot of full blocks on top of them. We can go ahead and replace this. Because this will just be all glass back here. Oh. Dang. Okay, did I, did I have any more cobble? No, I don't. Okay. I'll have to go and get some. Alright. So. And I used all of the glass. I guess I don't see it, but apparently it hides. Oh, there it is. Go ahead and put that down. Oh. Alright. So, oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Okay. I kind of wish I had flipped it. So we need to start building the sides, right? This, I'm gonna need a lot more spruce, I think. Um, so we should start up, right? Not sideways. We you know. Maybe I should do sideways, actually. A little bit makes a little bit more sense almost like it's a log cabin oh, big stretch 
yay. Oh, if only we were rich and we could actually have a house like this. Thumbs up if you're rich. And have a house with big windows. Some people really do be living like that every day. That's crazy. Alright. And then, uh... about that? Does that just look dumb? Yeah, that just looks dumb. Okay. I think we need to go full sideways. Yeah, that looks better. Oh, not like that. side let's do the other side so we can be sort of secure in here oh I am gonna have to fill that okay that's fine oh I just went all over the place There we go, that's a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then, give me some dirt. we could fill that in and then we'd be pretty safe in here but that's okay so this is the vision what are we thinking um we could also fortunately i think i made this a square i was gonna say was i too far away i said unfortunately i think i made this a square so we couldn't just put that like sort of cross it um, unless I made, like, do another side with the window over here and push it, um, further out a little bit, unless I made it a lot smaller, but I think that would take away from the aesthetic we got going on here, because I'm thinking of having fire all along this back wall. That's probably going to on fire though, isn't it? I probably can't do that then. I bet I can think of a way. Maybe if I had fire right here. I could. Or if I just did it on one side. So if I just pushed one side out and did a fireplace on the opposite side probably push this side out so I would have to terraform a little bit less so if I push that side out I could make a long glass hallway that might look kind of cool okay long glass hallway I'd have enough room for a second story um, sort of starting the middle right here be about right there then I could do a fireplace on this side and not have to worry about room. What I'm gonna put in this huge house? I don't know. All right. It's a. Uh, it's one. It's one thirty-five, my friends. Um, and I'm kind of at a stopping point. I think I might have to call it. No, I'm pretty excited about this house. Thankfully, next time, when I make a part three, it'll be a little bit more evident what I've got sort of going on here. Um, 
but I think I am going to have to call it for tonight. Uh, so, thank you guys for tuning in, watching, listening, um, however you've chosen to consume this video. I really appreciate it, and I hope it's brought you some peace and some comfort just listening to me talk about random things. Um, leave any input in the comments. Uh, check out part one. Tell me if you want a part three. And I'll see you real soon. Good night.